Paramecium are unicellular and eukaryotic cells. Around the outside of the cell, you can find cilia. These cilia are used for response and locomotion in order for the paramecium to be able to move. They're not photosynthetic. In fact, in order to obtain nutrition, they feed by endocytosis. Excretion in the paramecium is carried out by diffusion, and in order for metabolism to take place, enzymes are located in the cytoplasm. Contractile vacuoles are used for homeostasis, which is the maintenance of a constant internal environment within narrow limits. And finally, paramecium are able to reproduce both sexually and asexually. Now the IB states that you need to be familiar with how one other photosynthetic unicellular organism carries out the functions of life. In this video, I'm going to use the example of Chlamydomonas, but please be aware that your teacher may have used another example, for example, chlorella. Chlamydomonas is a unicellular and eukaryotic organism, commonly known as green algae. They are flagellated, that is to say that they have flagella, and these are used for locomotion. They also contain chloroplasts, and this is because those are the site of photosynthesis, and Chlamydomonas are photosynthetic organisms. A structure known as an eye spot is also present. An eye spot is a light-sensitive pigmented spot, and this is used for phototaxis, phototaxis being the response to light, either towards or away from the source of light. In common with paramecium, Chlamydomonas also conducts excretion by diffusion and also carries out metabolism using the enzymes located in its cytoplasm. Its contractile vacuoles are used for homeostasis, and Chlamydomonas is also capable of both sexual and asexual reproduction. So the main distinguishing features are that the paramecium is ciliated for response and locomotion and not photosynthetic, feeding by endocytosis, while Chlamydomonas is flagellated, has chloroplasts for photosynthesis, and has an eye spot for phototaxis.